Hi everyone, um, I want to share um, this box of treats uh, by Kevin Hankis. For anyone who is having K2 kids write realistic fiction, um, for anyone using the Calkins writing units of study, that series unit for uh, first graders writing that realistic fiction, this would be such a great resource. Um, first of all, they're just adorable. They come in this box. And the kids actually, as part of the Calkins units, she does give the idea of them creating a series and almost putting it in a cereal box. This looks almost exactly like it. Um, but in addition to them being about characters that they love and getting to meet characters in a series, because you could be reading aloud um, all the books, you get to meet these characters who are in the books that we've all known and loved for years, um, like Lily and Owen and Wemberly and Julius and Sheila Ray, they each have their own book. So it could start to be looking at how these characters are continuing in this series. It's also great craft moves and the text complexity um, is really accessible for K2 writers. Um, so if we're reading some of the other ones aloud and using them for interactive read aloud, these may be great for them to use in writer's workshop to really look at some of the craft moves, but with less text. Um, so like in this one, Owen's Marshmallow mellow um, chick. Um, he does a nice job in this book of really showing kids how to balance both action and then dialogue. Things like Owen looked at the chocolate bunny, action, my favorite, he said, right, dialogue, and then Andy ate it up, back to action. So really when we have kids who are using one right elaboration strategy more than others, this is a nice way to show them how to balance that. Um, and Wemberly's Ice Cream Star, um, really, he uses the, and, and a few of these he uses it, um, but in this one I love how he uses the rule of three, right, and using the rule of three purposely to sort of stretch out time so we really feel what our character's feeling, right, and she waited, and waited, and waited, right, and really talking to kids about, yes, we use things three times, but we have a purpose. This one I think really shows clearly what that purpose is for that move. Um, and this one, Lily's Chocolate Heart, I just love the ending. Um, it's a way to really show kids to have that close-in ending, you know, perfect, said Lily. Um, it's also her it's saying something, thinking something, feeling something all in one. So this is definitely also going to go in my close-in ending basket for kids. I love, um, in this one, Julius's candy corn, they're just going to love that they're going to see what's happening. So I also think it's really great when you're thinking about your audience and how you're showing one thing in the pictures and the other thing in the words. I think it'd be really fun for kids to start to play with layers of meaning because um, by the words, we think he's just counting, but the pictures are showing us that he's eating that candy corn. Um, and it really allows, again, for that close and ending in humor. But what I really love is, is having kids start to think about how their pictures can add something to this story, not just tell their stories um, through the picture, but once they're comfortable with pictures and words, having them work together to, to give more information. Um, and then Sheila Ray's Peppermint Stick. Um, I just, I love this spread. Um, just the pictures and the words together, you can totally see how she's feeling and what's happening in that moment. And I think this very, uh, I think the lines are quick and crisp um, and they just, they really bring the mood to life. Um, and again, I think it plays with that rule of three. Just then, Sheila Reid stumbled. The books fell, the pillows fell, the stool tipped over, the peppermint stick broke in half, right? And I just think that you can really feel in the words reflected of how she looks in the picture and therefore how she feels. So these are great books. I think kids are gonna love them. I think they'd be great for book clubs. I think they'd be great for kids to explore with partners, but what I'm most excited about is getting these into mentor um, baskets for kids to explore and get in again as writers.